What's going on gals and guys? My name's Ryan, back with you for another video. Today we're doing Smart Home and we are doing video number two for our little series of Govi home products. We did video one, which I will leave a link right above here to show you guys. We did that one on the Smart Indoor Outdoor Thermo Hygrometer. This is gonna be video number two and on this video, we are going to be covering the water detectors with Gateway. All packages come with a Gateway, and then you can buy them. I think they do have option of the Gateway in just one. They have the Gateway 2. You can buy three. You can get them with packages of five and also eight. I do recommend these. Just a suggestion, if you do decide to get this, buy it with one of the packages that has more, because I only bought the two just to try it out, which I regret now. I wish I would've got more, because I like it. I have one by my wall washer in my laundry room and then my upstairs bathroom. Uh, I wish I would have got more. I would put one under my kitchen sink, my main floor bathroom, my downstairs bathroom. So I could have got five or six of them, but I can go back and buy packages. I think there's a five I can get or even a three. So I'm going to go back and get those. Anyway, what we have is the gateway, which that is going to connect to your Bluetooth. And I'll show you that in a second. I have mine just located downstairs, kind of out of the way, plugged into an outlet I don't use much. And then once we get that connected to the Wi-Fi, we're going to connect through 433 pairing which is just a communications protocol with a frequency of 433 megahertz. If you haven't heard of it, I'm sure you've used it before. That's connecting a Bluetooth item to other devices. So that's what we're gonna be doing real quick. So we'll run downstairs and I'll show you that gateway real quick. And then I also have demonstration set up in a bowl. The water leak sensors, they do have sensors on top and bottom. So if it has a water drip, comes from the top, it will sense it from the top. Or if there's a leak, water rising, it does sense it from the bottom, so it senses it coming down or rising up, which is pretty cool. But I have a little bowl filled up with some water, and I'll show you how it works. We'll get it downloaded on the app real quick. I'll just show you some features. To get through our video number two here, shouldn't take too long, so let's head downstairs and I'll show you the gateway real quick. See you down there. All right, everybody, so here we are. I, we are downstairs at my place. I know the lighting isn't the best down here, um, but anyway, this is where we keep our Wi-Fi gateway. Uh, you can see I have my ring alarm gateway and then the Govi water leak gateway that connects to the actual sensors is right here. You'll see it has two buttons on the side, right here and right here. So I'm also going to get on the app here and throw this off to the side. So now we're gonna, I'm gonna throw the app up on the right side here. So we have the Govi app open now, and all you wanna do is go to the plus button right there in the upper right hand corner. And right here, we're gonna hit H5040. And you'll see right there, smart Wi-Fi gateway. What you would do now is you press and hold that button for three seconds. And then on the app here, on the right, where it says operation confirmed, you would hit that. It would then find the router and you would be connected. Then what you're gonna do is you're gonna take the bottom one with your water leak sensor. You're gonna press this for three seconds and then the button on the water leak sensor and then they will automatically connect. And then you'll see on your app, if you open it up, see we have now two sensors on the bottom there of our app. We can add more on the same way. You would just buy them separately, hold that button for a few seconds, hit it on the sensor, and it would add automatically onto your app. As you see, there isn't any tile for the actual gateway, but it does show the sensors. And it just shows you when there was a leak detected, the date, if it was a leakage or a drip, and then see there was none on the laundry one. The bathroom one is the one that I had practiced on when I was trying to figure these out. That's why there's those leaks. I can just press got it to clear the notifications. So that is how you connect those. That is how you connect your leak sensors. Like I said, I would grab a package with a few more because I have two and there are three or four more places I would like to put them. Anyway, uh, that's how we get everything connected. Now we have to test them out, right? So I actually have a bowl, a pitcher of water, and one of our water leak sensors right upstairs so we can go ahead and give these bad boys a test and see how well they work out with the alarm, with the notifications, so on. So let's jump back upstairs and we will give these water leak sensors a test. All right, everybody, so here we are back. We are at our little experiment 
for the Govi water leak sensors that we just hooked up. We connected them to our Wi-Fi gateway bridge, which we connected through Wi-Fi to our app. Now we do have two of these. Remember, I recommend grabbing more if you're gonna buy any at all. Get like the five or even eight package so you can put them everywhere. Anyway, we're gonna do a little experiment now. We're gonna throw a little bit of water in here. We're gonna splash some down. They do have two sensors right here. And then on the back, they have four tiny little probes is what they're called. If you can see those. And if these get touched, it notifies as a drip. If the bottom probes get notified, it notifies as a leak. So let's go ahead, we're gonna set it in here, get you a little bit closer. We'll dribble some water on the top first and see how this little experiment goes. Okay, so I'm actually gonna throw the app up on the right side of the screen here so you can see it also. So first things first, I'm just gonna go ahead and put a little bit in my hand and I'm gonna drip it. Oh, there it goes. And there you go. So now you press it and hold it for five seconds in order to stop it. And there you go. So now as you can see it says leakage alert. Bathroom water sensor has detected water leakage. Check the area as soon as possible. So we got that one so we would just hit got it. Clears the notification. Now what we want to do is fill the bottom so we can hit those bottom probes and see what that does. There it goes. It doesn't seem that we're getting the alert on the phone for it. But you can see that it does work. Typically, I think it would give you the alert. I'm not sure why it didn't give it to us on the phone. And there you go. As you can see, it obviously notifies for the bottom probes too. So our experiment is a success. It completely worked, as you can see. Uh, pretty cool little things, safe to have. Kind of one of those things that you'll buy, set up, and forget about, but very useful if needed. So if something happens, if you have water leaks in your house, definitely useful, especially because they connect with your phone. Just another Govi product. It just shows that, you know, they do an awesome job with their LED lights, but it just goes to show that also their home products, they do, they do back up and, and put a lot of pride in also because, I mean, they're just so convenient and helpful if needed. You know what I mean? You hear the sound, you get a notification on your phone. It's all tied up in through your smart home. So very nice to have. I thought that the bottom would have a different notification sound than the top, but I guess not. Well, another thing you can do to check the batteries, if this starts flashing red, you'll know that you need to change the battery. It just takes one AAA right there on the back. You have to unscrew it with a very small screwdriver, which it does not come with, so make sure you have one of those. Then to check it, you can just press it once and it will beep one second after. As you can hear that. And if you wanna change the volume of it between high, medium, low, and mute, so you would only get notifications on your phone, you just press this twice within a second. So that's gonna be probably medium. Yep, low. And then mute. And then high. So that would be how you can change the volume of the actual device. Maybe you don't want it quite as loud or you don't want it on at all, you can do that. And those guys are our handy dandy little water detectors with the Wi-Fi gateway from Govi, our second video, our second product. Next, we're gonna move on to their air quality monitor in video three. As for this one, I think it's a wrap. Again, I will leave a link in the description. If you have any questions at all, I know I didn't go over a lot um, of setting it up through the Wi-Fi and through the bridge, but if you have any questions about that or you're having troubles with it, please leave your questions down below or any comments you have, leave those down below, please also, love to have them. And if you would also, of course, please subscribe. That would be great. But that'll do it for this one, guys. I'll see you in video three for the Govi Air Quality Monitor. Uh, until next time, guys, peace.